Hi guys, this is Eva from the book blog astripedarmchair.wordpress.com and I'm here to talk about more library loot. This is actually my first blog of 2010, so I thought I'd switch locations. I really wanted to record outside because it's beautiful today, but the sun's too bright and my uh, webcam was freaking out, so instead, we're in my dining room. You can see that I have the fan on in the little reflection, but yeah. Um, I have a lot of books to talk about, so let's get started. We're doing fiction and nonfiction. First up, Fingersmith by Sarah Waters. I'm really excited about this. Sarah Waters is one of my new favorite authors, and so I've been spacing out her books one every six months or so. And it's for the Our Mutual Read Challenge. A Small Place by Jamaica Kincaid, which is insanely tiny. Um, I know this is for a challenge, but I can't remember which. Anyway, I read Jamaica Kincaid's debut novel, Annie John, last year and really liked it, so I want to read all of her books in published order. Troll, A Love Story by Johanna Sinisalo. I don't speak Finnish, so I don't know if I did that right. This is for the GLBT challenge. And also, um, one of my favorite book bloggers, Tina, is from Finland, so I feel bad that I've never read any Finnish lit. Love in a Fallen City by Eileen Chang. This is for the China Challenge. I'm really excited about it. First of all, I love that cover. And secondly, I've heard really good things about her writing. So, The Road to Home by Vanessa Del Fabro, which is for the Christie Awards Challenge. I've never read any Christian literature before. And so Amy, from my friend Amy, challenged me to join her um, in reading several Christie Award winners. It's a whole challenge. It's not like she just challenged me personally. Anyway, so this is about a South African. So I figured <laughs> I would ease into a new genre by going with an international book, since that's what I tend to enjoy. Red Spikes by Margot Lanigan. I read her novel Tender Morsels last year and seriously loved it, so I want to read all of her books now. And this is for the Colorful Reading Challenge, with red, obviously. Haroon and the Sea of Stories by Salman Rushdie. Rushdie has been one of my favorite authors for years, so I'm slowly working my way through all the books that he's written, and this one sounded like fun. Do you see the guy riding like the cool bird? Wouldn't that be fun? And apparently, it's maybe supposed to be a children's book? I don't know. But it sounds like fun. I've loved every Rush G that I've read, so I'm expecting to love that too. White is for Witching by, hang on, I'm going to butcher her name, Helen Oyeyemi. Um, this is for, first of all, isn't that a really cool cover? Yeah. This is for the African Diaspora Challenge, which is one of the challenges I'm most excited about this year, so I highly recommend you join it if you haven't already. Um, because there's like covers Caribbean lit, African lit, African American lit, African European lit. Pretty awesome. And it's being run by Brown Girl Speaks, who has one of my other favorite book blogs. I have a lot of favorite book blogs, I've come to realize that. <laughs> um, but yeah. So Oyemi is from Nigeria, I believe. It's not going to tell me, but I'm almost positive that she is. And this is about a girl with pika, which is an eating disorder that has victims eating non-edible things. And it sounds like it's going to be super gothic, and it's got twins in it, which always appeals to me. So I'm really excited about it. I think I'm going to start it next, actually, once I finish The Sorrows of Young Werther. Equal Rights by Terry Pratchett. This is large print because there was too long of a waiting list for the other non-large print books. Um, this is for the Terry Pratchett Challenge, in case you couldn't guess. I'm really excited. It's the first of the witch novels. I'm most interested in witch and death when it comes to Discworld. So I figured that I'd start with the witches and then go on to death later. Sugar Street by Nagib Mahfouz. And this is the third in the Cairo Trilogy. I've really enjoyed the first two, Palace Walk and Palace Desire. Mahfouz is another author that I really like, and I'd like to read all of his books someday. And I think I'm counting this for the What's in a Name 3 challenge. I think there's like something edible as a category and sugar is edible. But really I just want to read Mafus. The Bonesetter's Daughter by Amy Tan. I've never read Amy Tan. I kind of wrote her off as writing. Ooh, this is going to sound bad. 
uh, novels that are beneath me. That sounds awful, doesn't it? I don't know. And I feel really bad about that, obviously. So I figured I should read one of her books before I decide whether or not she's for me. And I'm counting it for the Rainbow Challenge, since Bone Setter starts with a B. Like, ooh. The White Tiger by Arvind Adiga, which is for the Complete Booker Challenge. Um, I always enjoy books set in Af India, Africa, India. Um, well, maybe not always, but I'm very attracted to Indian authors and their literature, so I'm excited to try out a new author. And he's a lot younger than most of the Indian authors that I read, I think. So. Finally, we have a book that makes me really nervous. It's for the Really Old Classics Challenge, and it's If Not Winter, Fragments of Sappho, translated by Anne Carson. It makes me nervous because I had no idea it would be this big, and it's all poetry, and poetry kind of scares me. But then I looked inside, and now I understand why it's so big. So, <laughs> that at least makes me feel better. I've heard great things about Sappho, and I've heard great things about this book in particular. So, hopefully I'll enjoy it. I really need to start reading poetry and get over my fear. Nonfiction! Scandals, Vandals, and Da Vinci's. A Gallery of Remarkable Art Tales by Harvey Rocklin. This is, um... A collection of essays about 26 different pieces of artwork, and it's for the Art History Challenge. I like that cover a lot, too. Mm. Lesbian Widows, Invisible Grief by Vicki Whipple, which has the ugliest cover I've seen in some time. But um, it's for the GLBT Challenge, obviously, and it has interviews of 25 different um, women who lost their partners. So, The Things That Matter by Edward Mendelssohn. This is for the Bibliophilia Challenge, and it's what seven classic novels have to say about the stages of life. Most of the novels in here I've read. Frankenstein, Wuthering Heights, Jane Eyre, Middlemarch, Mrs. Dalloway, Into the Lighthouse. The only one I haven't read is Between the Acts. So I might read that before I get to that chapter. We'll see. Go on a wolf binge. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about this. Actually, it popping up in the catalog is why I decided to join the Bibliophilia Challenge. And I think that cover is just wonderful. The Trees in My Forest by Bernd Heinrich. I think this is for the Science Challenge. Yeah, the Science Book Challenge. And it's about Heinrich's experience in Vermont where he owns a big tract of land and him venturing through it and learning more about its ecology. I'm hoping it'll inspire me to go hike the mountains more. I'm not a hiker at all, so <laughs> we'll see if he accomplishes that. Journey into Islam, The Crisis of Globalization by Akbar Ahmed. This is for the World Religion Challenge, um, obviously. it's going to be in the Islam, and after 9-11, Akbar Ahmed is a professor who took several young American students around the world into various Muslim countries. So, and I really like this cover. The only cover I could find for Library Loot is ugly, but that one is pretty. Almost done. One more. The Far Traveler, Voyages of a Viking Woman by Nancy Marie Brown. This is my favorite cover of the whole bunch. Do you see the long boat? I'm... I'm in this weird, obsessed with Viking space. It's for the uh, Tournament of Reading Challenge, which is a medieval challenge, and I decided to focus all on Vikings. So, yeah, I think that's going to be my next nonfiction read because I really can't wait to find out more about this woman. What's her name? Gudrid? <laughs> but, yeah, she went out exploring, um, and Nancy Marie Brown is trying to find out more about her, if she really existed, and more of the evidence in archaeology. So, there we go. That's my library leave for the week. I hope that y'all enjoyed the video and the new location. <laughs> um, and I hope that all of you share the wonderful books that you've gotten from your libraries. I'll see you next week. Bye.